Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new weekly writing vlog. I think this is going to be week five for this series. So I'll have the playlist down below if you've missed the other vlogs. Today's Sunday. In last week's vlog, we left off at 40,700 words. So that's our starting word count for this week. I've been averaging 10 to 13,000 words per week. So my goal is to at least hit 50K this week. That would be awesome. My goal is to write at least 1,500 words every single day or an average of that to keep me on track to finish my 80,000 word draft by the end of April for Camp NaNoWriMo. Today's been a really productive day. I got a bunch of filming done earlier. Now we're sitting down to focus on the writing. I just wrote a chapter. So I've written 1,076 words so far today, which honestly most days I would just be happy with that and leave off, but I'm trying to really stick to the 1,500 words a day thing when I can. So that means we're going to start a new chapter. We're going to start chapter 22. Yesterday I did a little more planning once I finished with my writing, so I outlined 21 and 22. So I'm all good to go for the day. We're at 41,784. And now that I have less than 500 words left to get me to my word count for the day. Honestly, I might just do a 10 minute word sprint and knock it out and then we can be done for the day. But I'm also thinking maybe I should try harder to get more ahead today because I always do better on days when I don't have to go work or anything and I might have to go to work tomorrow. So we'll see. Okay, update. I wrote the first like two pages of the new chapter. Our word count for today is now 1,570, which leaves our final word count for the end of today, 42,270. So I am on track and I'm very happy with that. So I think we're gonna call it a day and I'll update you tomorrow. Good morning everyone, happy Tuesday. So I wrote a little bit yesterday and I forgot to update you. I didn't write a ton yesterday, I didn't meet my goals, so I'm hoping to make up for it today. Yeah, I only wrote 500 words yesterday. I think this week is just going to be difficult for writing, maybe more than just this week, I don't know. It's just like a weird time because you know my book, The Anti-Virginity Pact is coming out in June, but people are reading it right now because the ARCs are out and it's available on NetGalley for people to request and I've already made the announcement video so people are talking about it and I'm trying not to get, it's not even like distracted. I'm just like really anxious. <laughs> I guess, um, which I kind of knew I would be, but not to this extent. And so it's just hard to focus on another book and focus on writing. And then I'm worried, I'm like, if this doesn't go well, if this whole book launch doesn't go well, if people don't like this book, am I gonna feel like really discouraged and not wanna work on this new book? And I don't know, it's just kind of a hard time to not get in my own head and not be super anxious about what's happening and what people are saying and people are reading it right now and I'm trying not to pay attention to it and like I need to pay attention to how many reviews are coming in before release and making sure all of those reviews are getting up but then at the same time I'm like I don't want to read them so I'm having a hard time focusing on writing this and not getting swept up in everything else that's happening right now. So anyways, <laughs> I started writing this morning I'm gonna try and at least finish the chapter that I'm in. I'm in chapter 22, which is the last one that I've outlined so far. So I think today we'll at least try to finish this chapter and then outline the next couple. But we're currently at 43,052 words. Okay, so I finished writing the chapter, which means so far today I've written 675 words. So this chapter in particular, I feel like is very bare bones. My rough drafts are kind of that way usually, but this chapter is really. I think I might go back through and kind of beef it up a little bit before I move on to the next chapter and I actually haven't outlined chapter 23 yet so we're probably gonna sit here and plan and then we'll keep going. I really want to hit at least my goal word count for the day of 1500. We have relocated to the floor and I have two very helpful assistants here for some moral support. And I just finished my chapter and now I've written 1,724 words today, so I'm really happy about that. I ended up not starting a new chapter. I ended up just adding a new scene to the chapter I was already writing and actually this scene helped me figure out something else I was stuck on, so I'm like pretty pumped. And this scene helped me figure out what we're gonna have to do for chapter 23, so I actually haven't physically written anything out for my planning, but this helped me figure some stuff out in my head. And with at least the current formatting of my Word document, we just made it to page 200. So exciting stuff all around. It's only 12 o'clock too. And I'm not nannying again today. One of the kids has had a sore throat, so they're not having me come right now just to, you know, play it safe, which I appreciate. How cute is he? He's taking a nap. So yeah, I might keep writing, honestly. I am feeling good. And writing this is helpful. It's a good distraction to fully immerse my mind into a different story so I can't obsess over the one that I know all of these people are reading right now. I don't know why this is affecting me so differently than The Sweetest Kind of Poison because that book came out like two years ago and it's been out and a lot of people have read it. And 
that never bothered me. So many people have been messaging me on Instagram and Twitter or sending me pictures of them reading the book or that they requested the book and stuff. And although I'm excited every time I see that, I'm also just get like this spark of anxiety every time I see that. I didn't really prepare for this because I hadn't experienced this the first time a book came out, but this one, for whatever reason, is different. So I'm gonna distract myself and keep focusing on this book instead. Hey guys, today's Wednesday. I can't remember if I filmed a clip yet today. Um, I don't know. I wrote a little bit this morning. I'm actually watching Courtney from The Courtney Project. She does live writing sprints, but she does them really late at night. And I teach at night and I don't usually write super late. So I'm watching it after the facts. This was last night. Um, and I just finished the first sprint with them and I got 700 words in that sprint. I think it was a 20 minute sprint, which is good. As you can see, I like my 10 minute sprints because I feel like my ratio is better because I can get 500 words in 10 minutes. And then if I do two 10 minute sprints, which is 20, I'll get more like a thousand. So we're in chapter 23. I think overall what I've written today is 1,128 words. I want to get at least 1,500. Hi, Max. So we're gonna keep working on it. I'd like to just finish this chapter. And I look like this because I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go for a walk after this. It's nice today, it's sunny. I haven't been outside in like, today's Wednesday? Um, since Friday or Thursday of last week. Cause it was like snowing and everything. So I would like to just go get some fresh air and just like walk around the block. And then maybe do a workout here and I'm stretching because my back hurts. But yeah, we just need to get like 350 more words today to hit 1500, which is awesome. Definitely doable. And I'm just going to keep doing writing sprints with this video, even though it's not real time. I still enjoy doing it. It makes me feel like I have other people doing it with me, even if these other people did it 14 hours ago. So we just did a second writing sprint and I finished my chapter. So now my total word count is 46,605 and I wrote 2,035 words. I'm super happy with that. Yeah, what is today? Today's Wednesday and my goal was to hit 50K by Saturday, the end of Saturday, that'll be the end of this vlog. So we have 3,400 words to do in three days to reach that, which is 100% doable. We're on track, everything's going well. Good morning, everybody, happy Thursday. I have not written very much today. <laughs> By very much, I've written 120 words. I've actually been doing one more round of proofreading for the anti-virginity pack today. Um, I still have a ways to go, but I did find three more typos in here, so I'm glad that I'm doing this last pass. But then also I'm doing some giveaways for pre-orders and for ARC readers who post reviews before the book comes out. And so like once a day I've been going through to check on pre-orders and to check on reviews because I've been compiling these spreadsheets just to keep myself organized for the giveaways. And unfortunately that means I am seeing the reviews as they're coming in, which so far honestly has been kind of fun because they've mostly been five, four or three star reviews. People have been enjoying the book, which has been good to see, but this morning as I was going through the reviews to add names to the spreadsheet, we got our first one star review today. As much as like in the back of my mind, I'm like, you're not gonna let this affect you. It's bound to happen. It's fine. Still seeing someone give it a one star. It's like, oh, because I mean, everyone reads books differently, but for me, I like very, very rarely give out one star reviews. If I do, it's for like maybe two to three books a year. Like it's never, I didn't like a book is a one star review. If I didn't like a book or if it was just okay, if it was kind of boring for me, I'll give it two stars. If a book is one star for me, that means I hated it. So when I see someone give my book a one star, I'm like, well, shit. <laughs> that hurts. So um, that's made me not want to proofread this anymore because I don't want to think about this right now. <laughs> so we're going to take a break from that, which just means I'm going to jump over to working on the sequel today. We're writing chapter 24. I have outlined it. I'm really excited to write chapter 25, so I think that'll be like my little carrot on a stick to get me through chapter 24 because I'm looking forward to writing what happens next. Like I said, I started to write this morning and I wrote 120 words and I'm struggling a little bit to focus on this, so I think we're going to do some writing sprints. Okay, it's now 12 o'clock. I just got out of the shower and I made myself some iced coffee. We've written 251 words today. So now I'm gonna try and get serious and like actually make a decent chunk today. I'm gonna do a writing sprint and if I still am struggling, maybe I'll find like a live stream on YouTube and write and do writing sprints with some other people. Yeah, this chapter, it's again the kind of situation where I know what's gonna happen but I don't know exactly how it's gonna happen. 
and there's a lot of important like reveals and information and stuff in this chapter so I think I'm worrying too much about trying to get it right when really I just need to get it on the page. I can make it better later so I think I'm just gonna stop putting pressure on myself for it to turn out well and just try and get something on the page. Okay so I didn't end up doing writing sprints I just ended up kind of working on it because I was struggling to remember details from the first book so I did like keep going back and like looking things up. Um, for the most part I've been pretty good about like keeping track of details to carry over to the sequel but they were like little things like I couldn't remember like what age a character was supposed to be or like how long they were in the situation. Just like little details like that that hadn't come up yet. But um, I finished chapter 24. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I'll probably end up changing it pretty significantly in edits but we're not gonna get caught in that trap right now so I'm gonna leave it and move on which means now for today I've written 1275 so I still want to write at least like 200 300 more words for today I know exactly what's going to happen with 25 and I've been excited to write this chapter so that's not gonna be a problem but I've just been sitting here like thinking and struggling for so long that my head hurts my eyes hurt and I just need a break like it's 145 I've been sitting here for like almost two hours and got that little done just because I was like going through stuff we're gonna write more today but we're gonna come back to it later I'm gonna take a break I wrote some more <laughs> now I'm gonna take a break for real I didn't finish the new chapter but I got a solid start on it and now I have written 1900 130 words today. So obviously I'm very happy with that. Hello, it's currently 6.45. This week has been really weird because I was supposed to nanny and then like every day they basically told me, never mind, you don't have to come today. Never mind, you don't have to come today. So I didn't end up having to go today and I'm not gonna have to go tomorrow, which is good. I would rather be here and like self-isolating. But also I know both of the parents work essential jobs, so I don't want to like leave them hanging if they do need someone to watch the kids. But that just means we get to write all day tomorrow, this time or something, but I think we're gonna make like a whole day of it and try and make a ton of progress and be super productive. Even if I don't only work on this project and I like throw in some other things because I have some other stuff to do, I'm gonna just try and make it like a full work day of it because my schedule has just been so weird and I just, like I've been productive but not as productive as I know I can be. We're gonna have a very like serious work day tomorrow. But today, with that said, I made a ton of writing progress since I last updated you. We're currently at 49,403. So I've written 2,798 words today. So I'm very happy about that. This part of the book though, I haven't planned at all. I didn't even plan being where I am now. I don't know how we got here. I was not anticipating being here. And I don't know where we're gonna go from here. We're like 600 words away from 50,000. And I was assuming this book was gonna be around 80,000 because that was what the rough draft of the first book was gonna be. But like, I don't feel like we're close to the end so I may have underestimated this book this book might be like longer than I thought so yeah I feel like we're just hitting like the midpoint so I'm thinking this book might end up being more towards like 90 or 100 thousand words my goal is still just to hit 80k by the end of this month but I'm gonna be lenient with myself if that's not the end of this draft but then also I'm nervous for like tomorrow and the coming days because I have no idea where I'm going with this now I have n like I still know how the book's gonna end but this whole um, section, I guess we're just gonna let my characters carry me because I have no freaking clue what's going on. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. So I've already started writing. It's about 8.30 right now. I've been sitting here for like an hour doing some writing, but then also I was just like doing some stuff for the anti-virginity pact and I did some yoga this morning and now the cats are enjoying the mat. Dean is right here. I just finished writing chapter 25. So we're about to start on a new chapter. I really don't think I added very much. I just needed to finish it off. I added, oh, I added 362 words. So a decent start for the day. I don't know what happens in chapter 26. I think I was saying this yesterday. I don't know what's gonna happen in this whole part of the book. So maybe we'll do some planning. Maybe we'll just wing it. I'm also kind of feeling empty. Like I'm running on low. One of my favorite like analogies for creativity and writing is you're a well and sometimes you get to the bottom and you just need to refill it. So I'm thinking maybe I'll try to read some books today and stuff just to kind of see some other writing and get my mind out of my own. Do you ever hit that point when you've been writing for so long that your writing starts to feel clunky and you feel like all of your sentences sound the same and you're just like writing the same thing over and over again? I don't know. I feel like I always hit that after I've been writing like 50,000 words. It's like when you're walking and you're focusing too much on walking and then you forget how to walk or you say the same word a million times and then it doesn't sound like a word anymore. I feel like I've been writing so long that I like 
feel like I don't know how to write anymore. Maybe I'll pick up some books and just read a little bit and hopefully that will inspire me. Maybe give me some ideas and then we'll keep going. I'm currently at 49,714, so we're definitely gonna hit 50K today. And hopefully we can figure out where the heck I'm going with this part of the book. So I've had a change of plans, a little bit. It's 10 o'clock. I wrote a little more for the sequel. I crossed 50K, which was my goal for this week, so I'm happy with that. I'm now at 50,039 words, so I wrote 691 words today. I hate that I'm doing this, but I'm doing it anyway. I'm thinking I might put a pause on this project for just a little bit, maybe just for today, but maybe longer, I don't really know. I'm happy that I've gotten 50K down. So I have at least like half of the book written, which funnily enough is what I did for the first book project, because I wrote the first half took a pause and then buckled down wrote the second half and it, like months later. But anyways, I've been struggling with this for a while because I love this series. And I started writing this the summer of 2018, so this has been like a long time. Right now, with everything that's happening in the world, it's hard to write this series. It's not exactly like a pandemic book, but there's this disease in here that's like a big part of the book, and so it's just kind of hard to write about right now. And also the thought of like putting this book out after all of this has happened and then people are gonna be like, oh my gosh, you wrote a pandemic book after a pandemic, so clever. <laughs> like it's just the timing is awful for this book. Again, it's not really focused on a pandemic or anything. It's not even a pandemic. I can't really say much without like spoiling it, but there is a disease in the book, which is kind of a big part of the book. Anyways, it's just been kind of hard to be as excited about this series as I used to be especially as like the real life situation has been getting, you know, progressively worse. So I'm thinking maybe just for the time being, I need to step away from this series, but I also like, I hate not finishing a draft. I hate stopping in the middle, but at least for today, I've decided to take a break. So what I've been doing this morning is I pulled up my old NaNoWriMo book. This is the book that I wrote in November and it's like a new adult, sort of like paranormal, I guess. And this one was so much fun. This is the easiest book I've ever written. If you were watching my vlogs back in November, like I just had so much fun writing this book. It just came out on the page so easily. I know um, it needs some revisions and stuff. It's a pretty short draft too. It's only 54,000 words. It's the first book in a series and I know I really need to work on the world building and this is a pretty um, bare bones draft so I need to go in and flesh some things out. So for now, I'm just reading through it. Since I wrote this in November, it's been quite a few months so I've got a decent amount of distance from it. So I think for today, I just kinda wanna read through it make some notes on some stuff I want to revise and maybe get back into this project just because this one is so much more like lighthearted. This one is just more fun, I guess. So we'll see how it goes. I'm excited to read through it. I've already read the first three chapters and I'm already like grinning to myself like I love this book. It's so much fun. It's so different than my other books. So we'll see where we go with this. Everything is real. So hit me. So hit me. First a confession. With you, I feel a connection. With